In this Bootstrap Studio video, it's going to be about how to manage changes or adjustments in your website. Uh, this is going to be quite a tricky one, so it's best to follow all steps if um, you know if you don't know what you're doing. Um, so what it is is that this is uh, like a mock-up of of my website I did, and this is the live one um, that I did probably uh, I don't know about six seven weeks ago or something like that. And it looks like this in uh, Bootstrap Studio. The actual one here is this here. This is the online version. If you just go to contact, it's this here. Now, this at the bottom, this is what you would see on the on the website. Um, I do. I think it's too. You know, it's not uh, high enough. And I like another one that's better on. Um, Bootstrap Studio a components part, which is footer, footer dark. Okay, so if you're gonna like make adjustments and you're a bit scared about doing it, it's always best to back up. Um, and always, of course, is to save your projects. And this is in the um, you know when it says open recent, it's always in the BS Design. That's the that's Bootstrap Studio's name or file system. Is the BS design okay? So I've I've already, as you can see, got this um, up. So now I want to change this um, footer to the dark version, okay? And this gives a, a bigger or a higher um, stuff, and you can put more content in it, okay? So we'll just do that. If if you're um, new to this and having struggle of about where to put it, is a little arrow there on the bottom it's in the center of the old photo we're just going to pop that in there okay so that's it there all right it has about company name about services etc so we'll just preview this and the browser using internet and um, no microsoft edge okay so there's your you know your big thing and that looks far better to me uh, than the other one so when I'm doing this, I'll put it online for you, uh, for you guys and girls. Um, and this other one can uh, can now be taken away. Okay, so if we just take that away, we just delete that. All right, and for this here, I want to do some uh, slight adjustments with the pattern. That is. You know that's not really important for for this video because what i want to show is how to actually get your um you know your adjustments online and probably the easiest way to do it okay so i've probably still got this yeah i'll just do this take that and put in the recycling bin because i've actually i've already uh i've already did it without me wanting to make a video but i thought oh this might be uh some people might be interested in you know like how how it's all done and they might be a bit scared about how to uh adjust their you know they might be okay just in paragraphs and things like that but they might not want to be making a big change okay so anyway so we've got this here and uh, we want to save it always save always back up your work it's so important that and you want to be exporting this okay so just export that um browse and in mine it's desktop select folder export and your design was exported again you can save it from there as well um so mine saved and this is your index and assets here all right now uh, i'm just going to put up my uh html kit tools is what i use and there's a few others i use as my um, html editors because Bootstrap Studio, to put things in the header, um, what's by default by them, is it's, it's it's a nuisance really, and it's much much simpler to do it in an editor that can just be Notepad. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do is we look in the assets, okay, and we go to the CSS, and we're looking for foot or dark, okay, because that's the that. That is what this is for the dark. Okay, drop that down. So we need that 
and we need that uploading to my website. If you haven't got, um, you know, if you're if you're not online with this, that doesn't matter. Um, just do it in Bootstrap Studio as is, um, and the, and it will work. But you can actually do it offline as well. Um, you know, by just the the way that it's shown on the um, on the assets and the index file there. But how you put it up online? Okay, so we're looking for that, and I've already got my web host thing up and I'm looking for my assets folder which is here all right okay so you look for your CSS and then you're going to upload that file all right so when it's browse footer dark okay because we looked uh, we found where the file is locate it and upload that so that's got overall 100% close refreshed it by itself okay so just go to we're looking for the index.php on here okie dokie right your if you're a you know your host might be a little bit different than this but they all work on the same principles okay so what we want to do is take this footer code all right Convert to HTML, edit code, and that's here. So this is the code that you want to be putting in, okay? So you get this here, and you just copy this, all right? Control C, and we go back up to the uh, host in the index.php as mine, you know, as possibly would be index.php right okay so got that here and you can actually put in some comments saying saying for example you know new footer so if there's any problems you know exactly where this file is where it starts and where it ends so we just go um control v okay so we save that all right okay so now we're going to look at no this is the one online okay let's refresh go to contact okay right now it's got the old one on because i haven't actually taken that down yet so now we have this here and as you'll see it's not the foot of dark as in the charcoal black sort of color it's the same color as what i've got there okay a few of these items if you look um there they're centralized okay and on this one that's to the left so the problem with this is if you go into an editor as i say notepad will be fine if you haven't got one but brackets and things like that anything will be you know really good so what i want to do there is we're going to go to see this index if this is a bit confusing and you want to know it just get back to us and i'll go over it because it can be it is a bit tricky this one open okay so what we're looking for is the css footer basic okay so that's that one here no sorry it's not that one that's the one that's already in this one just underneath the link is footerdark.css copy that go back up to your index uh, PHP uh, mine's index PHP yours could be index HTML usually is anyway found this now and just put control V or paste and that should work okay save index dot PHP saved so just refresh that okay and there you are so there's everything that's now centralized it's all dark and as you'll see company name about services web design development and hosting and what you really do so to uh, recap is that you just take and code from there you take in the link from the index file this is of course if it's uh, you know up online and you want to make uh, quite a few adjustments always back up though like if you're gonna if you're gonna do stuff online back it up 
say for example I've done I've done tons of websites okay I'll just save and close this because that's now finished all right I've done hundreds of properties of websites over the time but I still doesn't matter how much experience you've got I still have this one here the index PHP is the one that you see but I've still got an HT index.html with the exact same stuff in. so if I make a mistake on the, this other one I'll, I'll just go to the index date and copy the code and paste it you can always make mistakes with this so have a backup file online uh, if you if you've got your website online have a back have a backup actually on the computer as well and you won't make the mistakes if you do it's okay it's fine you just have to go back and just copy it back and start again and and you don't want to lose i mean you can be on hours and hours with websites sometimes days looking for problems um you know trying to do that when you've messed up and i've messed up tons of times when i should have backed up overconfidence maybe but that, but you always know doesn't matter how much you've how many years experience you have with this always back up anyway again thanks for watching and thanks for listening